The system to protect whales along our coastline is expanding, and as ABC 7 News weather anchor Spencer Christian explains, it's paying additional dividends as well in what's becoming a whale of a success story. When you have a great idea, word spreads pretty fast. And now, an ocean-going system that's protecting whales here in the Bay Area is expanding to the East Coast and Canada. Doug McCauley directs the Benioff Ocean Science Laboratory at UC Santa Barbara. Two years ago, the Benioff Group teamed with the Marine Mammal Center to install a system of acoustic buoys off our coast. The system can detect migrating whales, warning ships in the area to slow down to avoid deadly collisions. On the west coast, what we do is we couple that vessel analytics, surveying and tracking how vessels are paying attention to the slow speed zones that the government puts out for whale safety as well as also tracking the whales. He says the whale safe system also relies on satellites and massive databases to track the movement of ships as well. And on the East Coast, the information could be critical for an endangered species known as the North Atlantic right whale, whose population has now dwindled to the hundreds. And they're already sitting on the edge, this precipice of, of extinction. And uh, that gets scary. And that's where tools like this then come through and we hope will help make a difference for their survival. Similar data also drives a voluntary vessel speed reduction program that's benefiting the Bay Area environment in several ways. Jessica Morton is with NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. She says over the last year, their effort known as protecting blue whales and blue skies not only cut the risk of ship collisions, but also the amount of dangerous air pollution. And we end up seeing tens of thousands of metric tons of regional greenhouse gas reductions when they slow down to these target speeds of 10 knots or less. Nearly three dozen major shipping companies now participate in the voluntary program. And researchers are hoping that similar cooperation will ultimately help protect threatened whale populations worldwide. Nobody wants to run over whales, and none of these companies do. So they genuinely also are looking for that information so they can help become part of the solution. In San Francisco... Spencer Christian, ABC 7 News.